Well, I think the assembly of these pieces is going to be pretty self-evident, but I'll do a very quick assembly video for you anyway. Um, this is the mirror removal tool that you see me using on my latest video. Up to now, I've been fiddling around with a, a piece of nylon that I had to just punch some holes in um, and put some studs in it. But, you know, that was a, a quick bodge. And I've always promised that I would make something a little bit better that you guys could copy, that you didn't need a mill or a bench press or something like that. So if you've got a laser and you've got access to some screws and some nuts, um, you've got everything that you need. Um, it's a very simple assembly. We've got two pieces here which literally just fit together as a cross. Um, we can then pop the piece with the plane holes in it onto it. The piece with the hexagon holes next, but make sure they line up with the holes there. The next thing you should do is poke your screw through the hole and put your nut on it and very carefully set the nut back into the hexagon hole. Then the final part is to put this small piece right on the end. Um, you might need to glue it on. It depends what sort of fit that you've managed to make your parts. And I happen to have some, these are 16 millimeter long M3 screws that I've got here. And that means they project out the end of three pieces of five millimeter by about a millimeter. That's enough of a projection to sit in the drive holes. Uh, so I shall send the uh, I'll send the files to the RD Works Lab forum. Well, you can see how simple this construction is. Um, you could make it of any material you wish. You could make it out of two mil material, three mil material. It, I just happen to have five millimeter, and that worked well for me. Um, but you know, you adjust the length of your screws accordingly. I'm sure you guys don't need any help from me now that you've seen the basic idea of what I've done. It's a very simple construction that doesn't require anything other than your laser.